Hello and welcome back to SAP Plan Maintenance. This is Farooq from QBRP. So we are in the second part of creating multiple counter plan. We have already done all the master data involved. So now we will start with creating the counter plan itself. So the transaction is IP43. So let's go to SAP. IP43. So we are saying are we creating a notification with a cycle set. So we are giving the cycle set that we had created earlier. Press enter. Let's give some descript uh, description, routine maintenance. And if you can see the cycle has already been copied. Oh, okay, anyway, let me press enter. Notification type is M1. So what we need to do is we need to give a counter here, uh, the counter that we had created earlier. Uh, I had to change this counter. So the number that you might have in the previous session and in this session would not match. So don't worry about this one. Yeah, the no counter reading has yet been done. So we have not done any reading. The equipment that we have got is car. Press enter. So it should, yes. So it will copy all the data. So we have everything here and uh, if we go into the second tab of scheduling in the scheduling parameter so what we need to check is what sort of operations because what we are saying is this is performance based or time based so either or either performance or time so that's why we'll choose our link and once we've done it we'll just save it so this will the start date is 14th and the time so we have a maintenance plan 376. So once we have a maintenance plan, the next step will be to schedule the plan. But before we can schedule the plan, we need to do um, create something called measuring document. And in the measuring document, what we do is we basically say what is the counter reading now. So let's go to IK11 and we are going to create a measuring document. And in this document, we are going to say, okay, what is the counter reading that has just been measured? So there's a difference. I mean, uh, in these two fields, we were, we are going to input our value in this field, say 990. So whatever you put in the difference will be added to the counter. So that's what has happened. I just put 990 and so it has been added. So the total counter reading has become 990. So this is the first counter reading, press enter and save. So this has been done. So the next step is to go back to scheduling. Let me open another session here. IP 10, uh, not 1P, IP 10. So that was the maintenance plan, press enter. So now here you can see we have got 990. So but say suppose we are saying that okay we are starting at 1000. So we don't want to do it this now. So we can come back later. Let's go back to the counter plan, count measuring document. And say after maybe a couple of days, uh, the 11 kilometer or the 10 kilometer difference has been done. So I will just add 11 here. And say second counter reading. Save it. Now let me go back here. So now the reading is a 1001. I say, yeah, okay, at this time, this is correct time to start the maintenance. Date time. Okay. Let me change the date. So counter reading and this so at this time and date the counter reading is this one and now we can start our planning the remaining processes are same as previous as we have done earlier what we do is we just select the line release save it So plan has been scheduled, so once the plan is scheduled, as you know, it would have created a notification. So if I go to IW22, so the notification is there. 
and now the notification is there and so the technician can work on the notification if he needs he can create an order and so on and so forth once he's finished then he, he can just close this notification so this is the process of how to create counter plan so I will end this session here and in the next one we will take a, a new topic and start from there thank you and see you next time bye